Well, yet another political party has uh, been added to the country's political landscape ahead of the 2024 elections. Rise South Africa uh, was launched in Pretoria today by its leader, Mpo Takata. The new political party says it, it seeks to revolutionize politics and bring about a much needed change in the country. He says the party was formed in response to inadequate leadership, a growing electricity crisis, uh, crime, unemployment and other challenges plaguing the country. He says the party will contest the 2024 elections. We have registered with the IEC and we've registered to contest the national election and also all nine provinces of South Africa. So we will be contesting the national and provincial election as a rise South Africa party. There was another question that came through about funding. Who is funding a rise South Africa? Arise South Africa is funded by individuals like myself, young people that have become successful in business, that take their own funds and fund the political party. And to discuss uh, the launch of this new party, we are now joined by Arise South Africa leader, Mpo Dakata, and he joins us in studio. My first question to you, you've seen the stories we've just played. Uh, one is Rise and you are Arise. What's the difference here? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me in studio. I believe that Arise South Africa stands to represent the young people of South Africa. We believe that young people in South Africa are depressed as much as many South Africans are unemployment, the load shedding, the amount of crime in our country, the inadequate leadership, the electricity crisis that takes away about 80 billion rand every single month from our economy. When we look into the country, we realize that young people are unemployed with an unemployment rate of over 50%. The poverty line is above 50%. So when we looked at the landscape, we realized that there's a dire need for young people to get involved. Because when we look at what's going on in the country, we can realize that those that are in charge are not doing the right thing. Because it's very clear that people are complaining within South Africa about many of the ills that they're seeing. People are very unhappy. People are actually depressed. So as young people, we took it upon ourselves to say enough is enough we're not going to be complacent we're not going to sit down and complain we're going to stand up and form a collective in the name of Arise South Africa and go forth and take over the government mm. in 2024 and when did you realize that um, there was a need for you now to come up with this new political party especially now as we head to those uh, 2024 uh, elections so at Arise South Africa we truly love the country and many of us have been individuals that have contributed in the, com in the country in terms of our business landscape, in terms of what we do in helping others and our foundations and our personal capacities. And we came together as individuals and leaders that said, because we love our country and because we have a deep passion for unlocking the potential that sits within South Africa, we all came together to say, let's put our minds together as intellectuals, as educational people, as policy makers, as authors, and let's actually come up with policies amongst young people to rule and govern and grow our economy, to ensure that the ills that exist are actually fixed by some of the many ideas that we've got at Arise South Africa. Coming back to my main point, do you foresee any confusion here when it comes to your names? Uh, because we just saw the other party that is quite similar to your name and also saying that it appeals to a broader landscape of South Africa. You are saying that you're appealing to younger South Africans and who want to see a change in this country. Going to the polls next year, do you anticipate any confusion here for South Africans? We truly believe that one should be focused on a vision. So if you look at our logo, you'll notice that it's, it's an eagle. And the reason why we have that eagle is because we believe in vision and perspective. We don't believe that the, the status quo of we focus on everybody and everything works in South Africa. We've seen political parties like the ruling party focus on everybody and anything. And none of that actually worked. We find ourselves in dire situations. We believe, like many of the prototypes we've seen internationally, in many global successful countries, that if you have a focus area and you understand what vision and perspective you're trying to give birth in the nation, you're then able to achieve more success. And because of that, we focus on the majority of people in South Africa, which are young people. The ages of 18 to 35, these are the most depressed people in our country. The unemployed youth, the, the youth that has been looked 
down at the youth that doesn't have time to get enough opportunities. And we're working with those young people to unlock value in our economies. One of our examples that we're doing is manufacturing, an industry where young people are saying there's blockchain technology, there's artificial intelligence, there's machine learning, there's robotics. There's so many things that we can use today to create employment for young people and grow the value chain for the economy. I come from Venda, Machabawe in Limpopo. And where I come from, my grandmother goes avocados. Those avocados are fetched by gentlemen that come from Brazil, from Dubai, and they ship them over to their countries to create creams and serums out of those products. Now, what if we as young people who are thinkers and capable to think about these things could actually take that avocado that grows in Machabawe in Venda, my grandmother's yard, and ensure that we're able to take it and package it and put it as a cream and actually get researchers and a marketing department and a packaging department and logistics department and actually grow the economy through that and solve this gross darkness that we see of young people that are led to drugs, that are led to all sorts of things because of unemployment. We believe that working on the young people, solving the young people solves the rest of the problem because if you can focus where the problem currently lies and apply strict focus and tunnel focus on fixing that problem, you're able to do it and not only do it, but you're able to cause a ripple effect and see it throughout the whole economy, where more people can think, where we produce things like batteries. South Africa has all the components that are needed to produce the battery. We have all components that are needed to produce the aeroplane. Why are we not producing the aeroplane? Why is our state-owned enterprise that creates aeroplanes not functioning? It is because the people that are at power are pensioners. These are 60, 70 year olds that their thinking capacity is limited. And we're saying it's time for young people to arise. It's time for young people to take the helm and act actually create an economy that they already see within themselves. One would also say that when I hear your rhetoric uh, of reaching out uh, to more young people and you're saying that there are old people taking dis uh, decisions for young South Africans, I would also liken you to another party uh, that reaches out to young people in this country and of course that is uh, the EFF. Why should young people uh, be attracted uh, to your party instead of another one that also appeals to young South Africans? Firstly, there's nothing like a rise South Africa. Firstly, a rise South Africa focuses, I myself am 29 years old. I'm running for president of South Africa. I'm well-traveled, I've built global businesses and I've spoken in global stages and been to global companies that I've interacted with. When I speak about the Mark Zuckerbergs of this world that created Facebook, that created WhatsApp, that created billion dollar industries that changed their countries, these are people that I went to study with in Silicon Valley that I interacted with and got to understand what they do. We're not just talking about young people empowerment. We're talking about young people leading. We're talking about a young president. We're we're talking about young people framing their own creations within the support of young people in the government. We're talking about changing and rebuilding everything. We're very different from any political party that exists. That's why we started, because what we have, the fire and the passion that we have for South Africa, we have not seen in any other political party. And that's why we started, because we did look. We did look at where can we go as individuals and contribute. And we found that many of the political parties are not focused. Many of the political parties are not agile enough, like an eagle, which is our logo, to be able to move with the times and compare themselves with governments like the government of Dubai that focuses solely on ideas more than it does on political squabbles. And we really want to bring in the notion that young people are full of ideas. Let's put these ideas to the test. Let's support young people. Let's give them what they need. Let's fund young people. Let's get young people back into vocational and technical training colleges as we've seen it happen in many other countries like Singapore that changed the education system and saw young people rising and building the economy. Right. So our focus is very much on young people and our focus is extremely focused on making sure that young people arise in our country. Paul, uh, we have been told that we may, we may find ourselves in a coalition in 2024. Are you prepared to work with any other political party should you find yourself in that position? We base every decision we make based on ideas. And are these ideas going to benefit South Africans? We truly believe that we stand for the young people that we represent. So most of our ideas are based on that to say, what ideologies and ideas do these political parties carry? If a political party is aligned with the ideas that we carry, we will then be in support or work together with that political party. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, that is Arise leader, uh, Arise South Africa rather leader, Mpota Gata. They're just giving 
giving us a bit of insight in terms of what his party is all about. He says that they're appealing more to young people and they want new ideas and to change uh, the situation here in South Africa, especially uh, for young people. As you would know that there is a, a high unemployment rate that largely affects young South Africans.